Hi, I'm Sean Toomey from Posme Media. In this video, I want to give you an overview of the WordPress dashboard. After creating a fresh installation of WordPress using the DreamHost one-click installer, and I created a separate video showing how that is done, so if you're interested, make sure to check that out. I thought it would be a good time to take a look at the dashboard and to give you an overview. The first thing you want to do is navigate to your login page. For me, that is my.posme.com forward slash WP admin. You can also navigate to WP login.php. That should also work, assuming your WordPress installation isn't hidden in a separate folder. On this page, you want to log in with your login details. So here we on the dashboard of this new installation. At the top, you have a welcome to WordPress section. Once you've had a look at this and you might want to click on some of the links, you can click the dismiss option on the right to hide that. And now you'll see that we've got these different sections in three columns. First of all, these sections can be rearranged. So you can drag them around like this. At the top right, you'll also see a link called screen options. If you click on that, then you can actually customize which modules show up. So we can actually bring back that welcome module. We can hide the events and the news if we don't want to see that. So this is all customizable. And keep in mind that the screen options tab shows up across the back end of WordPress. So whenever you are working in the back end of WordPress and there's some option that doesn't show up, it's always useful to check the screen options because it might just be hidden and you might just need to tick the box to make it visible. So let's start with the top navigation menu. Right on the left, you'll see that there's a drop down that provides links to important resources, wordpress.org, documentation, support forums, and feedback. The next one, it's a drop down and it says visit website. Here you can actually load up the front end of your website. Let's just open that in a new tab and we can see what my website currently looks like. So this is what the website looks like right now. If I scroll down, there's the single post, hello world, that's the basic post that is pre-populated in every new installation of WordPress. Going back to the dashboard, the next option shows you comments, if there are any comments that need to be moderated. And then there's a menu where you can actually create a new post, a new media item, a new page, or a new user. So these are just short links. And then on the right, it says howdy and then my username. And if I drop down, then I can edit my profile and I can log out. Then if we look right at the bottom in the right corner, it shows me the version number that is currently running. This is important because at times you need to obviously update your WordPress installation and it's useful to see what version is currently running. And now let's look at the main navigation on the left hand side. The first thing I want to make you aware of is that there's a button called collapse menu. If you prefer a minimalist menu and you know what all the icons stand for, then you can click this and it will actually compress the menu. For now, we're going to keep it expanded and I'm going to run through each individual section. So at the top under dashboard, we've got home, which is what we're currently looking at the dashboard. And then we've got updates. So if there are any updates that can be run, then you will see a notification number to the right of updates. If we click on updates, so this is the dashboard for updates. It tells me that you have the latest version of WordPress. Future security updates will be applied automatically. If you need to reinstall version 494, you can do so here. And there are no plugins or themes that can be updated. Next, we have posts, and here we can manage all our posts. We can add a new one, we can manage categories, and we can manage tags. Next, we've got media. This is the media library where we can upload images, audio files, videos. Mostly, I would recommend using this purely for images. So here we can manage our media library, or we can add a new item to the library. Next, we have pages. Here you can manage all your pages, or you can add a new page. Under comments, you can moderate your comments and edit comments. The next section is appearance. This is where you can manage your themes or you can add new themes. You can change the theme that your website's currently using. Then next we've got customize. This is the built-in customizer that WordPress comes with. And some themes make use of this customizer. You can click through to this page and you can customize certain elements of your site. Next we have widgets and widgets refer to elements or modules that you can add to the sidebar of your theme or the footer of your theme. Most themes out there make use of widgets and this makes it really simple to add various elements to different locations on your site. Then next we have menus. This is where you can manage your menus, create a new menu, edit certain menu items and assign them to the different positions in your theme. Under header, this is also the built-in customizer where you can customize the header of your website, assuming that your theme is integrated with this built-in customizer with WordPress. And then next you have editor. This is a built-in editor where you can actually edit the different files that make up your theme. So you can actually go in and change the code. 
Next up, we have plugins. This is where you can view all your installed plugins. You can activate and deactivate or delete plugins. You can add new plugins. And then again, there's a built-in editor where you can actually edit the code of any given plugin. Next, we've got users. Here you can view all your users, you can manage them, you can add new users, delete users, change the access that each user has. There we go, we can add a new user and then you can also manage your own profile. Then next we have tools, available tools, fresh out the box, there's actually not much here. There's the basic import and export where you can import content into your WordPress site and you can export your content into a CSV file. Then next we've got settings. Here we have general settings that control your website. We've got writing settings, anything that has to do with writing content to your website. Then we've got reading settings. This applies to people that are viewing your website or reading content on your website. Discussion settings relate to commenting and the moderation of comments. Media settings relate to the media that you upload to your website. And then permalinks is really important that is the link structure that your website uses. So that's it. That's a very quick overview of the menu when looking at a fresh WordPress installation. At this stage, some of the things I may have mentioned seem confusing, but let me assure you, as we get more hands-on with this new installation of WordPress, you will quickly realize that this menu is going to expand as we add more plugins and functionality a lot more is going to become available and that's when it gets really exciting. What I've just walked you through is the foundation of a new WordPress installation and it's important to have a understanding of that. If you found this video useful, please smash that like button and consider sharing it. Also, if you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You'll find all the links that I mentioned in the description below. I'm Sean Toomey from Posme Media, wishing you an awesome day and I'll chat to you soon. Cheers.